Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have part two of my huge 100 pound mystery unboxing from ThreadUp. It is all mixed sizing. I paid $268 with 13 cents for everything that's with taxes and everything. And I ordered it November 13th. It was delivered November 26th, so just under two weeks. I go over in the first part at the beginning a little bit about why I ordered all of this stuff and just a little bit more in depth on, you know, this order basically. But now I am just going to jump into this second 50 pounds. So I was pretty pleased with the first box. I have had a little bit of time to reflect. I'm very excited to get everything listed. I got several Lululemon items as well as like current trendy pieces. I have full disclosure kind of skimmed through this box a little bit just because I felt kind of very caught off guard on the first box with all the items. You know, I didn't know what anything was when I was holding it up. So I just kind of wanted to have a little bit more of a feel for what the items are going into it. So, I, but I didn't look in depth at anything. Okay, so first off, we have this pair of pants. They're a green cargo pant. And I am definitely happy with these. I think they will sell really well. I would pick these up at the bins. They are a tried and true, reputable brand, L.L. Bean, size 12 tall, which is great. And they're in a popular green uh, style, so, or color and style. So yeah, I will totally list those, probably like $35. Next, we have, looks like a pair of leggings. Okay, here's the brand. We Wore What, which is not to be confused with Who, What, Where from Target. So We Wore What is by the designer, I forget her name, or she's like an Instagram influencer designer. I don't think I would call her like an actual, oh, Danielle Bernstein, that's her name. And she also, I'm pretty sure she like rips a bunch of small companies off. So we don't stand for that. I will not be reselling these just because they have a lot of wear and I personally don't love this style. I'm not sure what they are. They look like a legging, but they have this waist happening. So yeah, I might take those to Play-Dohs. Next, okay, I remember looking at this for a little bit, trying to find a logo and it had no logo on it. So it's just a gray athletic style tank top. It does have a little built-in bra. Again, I might take that to Plato's Closet, see if they will take that. They love athletic wear, but I don't know if they will take unbranded. This is definitely an older tag from J. Crew Factory, size extra small. I'm not sure if this is a strapless mini dress. I'm thinking that's what it is, or if it's like a wide waistband skirt, tiered skirt. But either way, I'm not going to be selling this. It is just too dated. Same for these. This is like a vintage Talbots tag, which I do not reach for. Size 10, high-waisted, embroidered palm tree shorts. Okay, we have an athletic set here. And I'm seeing a brand. This is Fabletics. I am pretty excited for this, honestly. I think this should sell super well. It's like a double lined sports bra, one shoulder sports bra in this lime green color. And then high rise leggings. It's like a highlighter yellow green. I am seeing just a little bit, oh no, that's a fuzz. Okay, so maybe I'm not. I thought I was seeing a little bit of surface dirt, but I don't think so. Yeah, so that's great. It has two po uh, zip pockets in back. So yeah, I am super excited for that set. I don't know what I will list that at. I never find actual sets when I'm out shopping. This is a no label 
long line shirt jacket, which I feel like is almost sellable, but just not quite. I think it's the uh, quality that isn't doing it for me. It's just, it just feels pretty low quality. I do like the pockets here and I do like this rose color. So I don't know, maybe I will try throwing this up for 18 to 25 ish. That is the tag. It just says size small and like a very kind of cheap boutique tag. Next we have this looks like an older Target sleepwear line tag. Gilligan O'Malley, Gilligan and O'Malley sleepwear, size small, medium. And it's the sheer robe. It does have the tie still attached, but I just don't think this is substantial enough of a piece and brand to resell. We have a plain purple mini skirt with the tag cut out. So again, we'll not be listing that. Oh, I remember, I remember seeing this. This thing is heavy. Um, I have no idea what this is, but yeah, I, I will not be listing this as well. It's like a ponty knit body and then it has organza kind of details. So yeah, interesting piece there. Beach Lunch Lounge, size extra small. I do get this brand occasionally if it's like a slow day at the bins. And this is, okay, is this a top? Or I think it's like a tunic. It's a green flannel, but unfortunately it just has too much wash wear for me to list. I like to keep a certain level of quality and condition in my closet. Okay, I will list these as a bundle I think so again they just have that like boutique nondescript size tag to them size extra large no brand but they are a stretch jersey knit maxi dress and this one is this nice blue color long sleeve and then this is the exact same in green so I think someone would honestly love to have these as just kind of like a throw on and go type dress with like some sneakers or sandals. So yeah, I'll list these together, maybe like 30 or $35. I think that's a pretty good deal. Next, this is H&M's House Line Divided, size six. Just a tie front floral top. That'll probably go to friends and family. Democracy, size medium. I have seen this brand when I'm out and about sometimes, but I have never picked it up. This is kind of pretty. I'm seeing the, okay, how does this work? <laughs> I feel like once you get tangled like this, there's just no getting back to ground zero. So I hope you guys got a little bit of an idea when I started out. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm at a loss here, but it does, okay, well, <laughs> we landed at this. It does have some embroidery to it. I will take a closer look at that and see what kind of condition it's in, um, but I probably won't list that. Same for the Willie Smith size 10. It is expensive stuff, I believe, but the quality isn't justified, or the price isn't justified with the quality, I wouldn't say. Um, these are like an ankle, an, ankle print, anchor print cropped pant, and they do have quite a bit of wash wear. Okay, this is Theory, which is awesome. Very happy to see this a ribbed long line essential kind of closet staple cardigan here feels super soft almost feels like a cashmere or wool which kind of scares me i need to look for small holes okay so it's 100 percent wool and this is interesting it almost looks like it's a sample piece because it has a lot of information there 
but I'm just going to go ahead and list it as normal. I'm not seeing any, let me hold it up to the light here. Yeah, I don't see any holes, which is great. So that will for sure get listed. Unlike this, indigo rain, again, very lower, lower end size medium. This is like an acid wash, little mini dress. This um, looks very kind of junior style to me. So I'll probably just go ahead and donate that. Lands in size large. Um, what is this? It's like a turtleneck top. It almost feels like a like swim material. It almost feels like a rash guard or something. I don't think that it is though. What does this say? That just says lands in. So yeah, I probably won't list this. It's pretty, pretty plain. Same for this. Additions by Chico's. Just a little gold tank top. Does have wash wear. Not worth the time to photo and list. Lauren by Ralph Lauren. These are a size 10 petite. They're 77% wool and then nylon and lycra. So, oh, I actually like this little chain detail going on. They're a wide leg, maybe just a straight leg pant. They are kind of a mid to low rise, right? Or maybe not, I don't know, I need to measure them. Oh, okay, so there's just like a random hole here. I'm not sure what's, I, it looks like maybe there was an accessory there at some point or maybe a button. So I will not be listing those. They look like they are a little bit of an older piece anyways. So not too big of a loss there. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit of wash wear on this, which is Yumi Kim. So that's a little bit of a bummer. This is a pretty good brand. It's sometimes sold at Anthropology. Size small. How pretty is this? It's a midi skirt in this fun, vibrant floral print. This style of skirt, just midi and maxi, sells super well for me. So yeah, I will look this over. I'll probably still list this and just disclose that it has a little bit of just kind of like fuzziness to the fabric. I think you guys can see it there. That's just a rayon blend. Okay. Oh yeah. I remember seeing this in the box and being really excited about it, but unfortunately it does have a flaw. So this is newer tag Zara, which I absolutely love to find and sell. This dress is so pretty. It's this ribbed, it's like a multicolor ribbed slinky dress. How pretty is this? This is gorgeous. I feel like this is probably a blogger's favorite, but it does have, honestly, I don't think it would be that hard to fix. It's just a split at the side, like where the armpit is. So I'm going to not touch it because every time I touch it, it unravels a little bit. I'm going to send this straight to my Mimi, see if she can work her magic and get that stitched up. This is such a pretty piece. I think that will sell super well. Rubbish, this is Nordstrom Jr.'s house brand. I sold this every single day when I worked at Nordstrom. This is like a snap up jacket. I won't be listing this. It's just not substantial enough of a brand style or piece in general. Banana Republic size small petite. I think I might make a bundle listing with all of the like plain and Taylor and Banana Republic blouses that I got and maybe just list it for like 30 or $40. I, I feel like I have like seven or eight at this point. So yeah, I'll just make a bundle listing at some point for all of those and just take a quick picture of the front and back for each. Ann Taylor Devon Fit size 2 pants, trousers. I won't list these. 
Um, again, they're just not, they won't be worth the time to photo and list. Vineyard Vines, size eight. This is kind of cute. Again, it doesn't really go with my closet, but Vineyard Vines does have a little bit of a following. I think people do kind of search it out. It has pretty embroidery. Eh, it's almost like a 3D crochet knit. So I guess, I guess that is embroidery, but yeah, I will think on this one, maybe if it's in like flawless condition, I'll go ahead and list it. What is, Oh, it has boning, so that's interesting. Yeah, okay, so I mean, it's a really nice quality piece there. Okay, I'm seeing new with tags, Savage Fenty. So isn't this Rihanna's brand? And this is a size extra large. It looks like it's a little bralette sheer lace bralette for sure will list that i have no idea what that will sell for i have never sold that brand loft size medium again this will probably go in that basic top bundle am i seeing i feel like i'm seeing some spots so i will wash this i like i like this sleeve that's pretty cute Um, heart, heart and hips. So just a, a very lower line little piece there. We'll not be listing that. Or this, Francesca's. This is sold at Francesca's. This is like their house label, size small. Just a little tank. The quality does not feel up to my kind of standard okay same thing exact same thing with this it just feels super cheap the brand says plush size small the tag is is it tacked on okay no it's not tacked on i was gonna say that's that's kind of interesting that the tag looks nice but the quality on these is just not where it's at it is a matching set of pajamas but I just I maybe I'll give those to someone who likes pajamas I don't know I I'm honestly if something is not worth my time it's way better for me to just donate it and let someone else buy it if they like it because you know if I'm spending hours and hours just listing like $15 items it would be more beneficial for me to just donate those and spend that time going and finding better stuff at the bins or wherever um, and just listing the best of the best so it's opportunity cost and you know you don't want to get bogged down by lower level items okay bb dakota size zero and this is sold i think at like nordstrom rack it has a ruffle hem and kind of flare bell sleeve there. I I won't list that. I'll again I'll probably give that to a family member, possibly take it to Plato's Thread and Supply, which I do sell this brand. Sometimes I pick it up at the bin size medium and this is a nice kind of teddy sherpa style jacket is this a jacket it feels too thin to be okay yeah so the zippers are facing inwards which tells me i'm pretty sure this is a lining so this was a part of another jacket so that will not get sold next oh okay michael stars new with tags so this is exciting 178 dollar retail price i do pick up this brand it's sometimes sold at anthropology it has a very high retail price and this feels like linen which i love oh and it's a jumpsuit okay so yeah i'm i'm definitely selling this it's um it's really cute honestly i'm very excited about this let me see yeah 100 linen it's a size small that's weird. Okay, so it has some deodorant 
spots even though it's new with tags so it looks like someone kind of heavily tried it on there but that's not too bad I will I will wash it um, or maybe I'll just try to get that out without washing it it's not too bad it looks like someone just kind of rubbed a little bit under the arms I'll probably list it, list that if I can get it cleaned up and back to perfect condition I'll probably list that around 50 or 65 dollars so that's a great little addition there this has no tags that I'm seeing so possibly Play-Dohs possibly donate this is the only piece that I looked up while I was just kind of flipping through the box because I was very curious. I know that equestrian kind of riding stuff uh, can sell pretty well. This is Supreme Equestrian, H-O-R-Z-E. I'm not, I've never heard of this, but I knew that it was, you know, obviously like a horse riding kind of thing because it says equestrian. I looked it up. It looks like it can retail and can resell pretty well. I'm not sure about this specific piece, but I'm thinking that I will list this just because I really like to try out new brands, especially if they look kind of promising. You never know. I mean, you could list this for 35 and it could sell. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. I remember looking up comps for that on Poshmark. There were several sold and like one available of that brand. So that's always a really good sign. I will be listing that. I will not be listing this. It says flawless in a camo print. It's this little hooded sleeveless dress. So that will that will be donated. More Francesca's Blue Rain, another one of their kind of house labels. Extra small top with a ruffle hem. Okay, it looks like someone stitched this themselves to keep the uh, kind of crossover front closed. They wanted more coverage. So I will be donating that. More new attacks. This is Gap Maternity, size small. Really pretty floral print dress here. I, I don't know if I've, yeah, I have sold maternity stuff. Um, and I would totally list this, but I think I'm going to give this to a friend um, she is expecting. And I think she'd like this. She really likes dresses. So yeah, I'm going to save that out for her. Next, Wild Honey. This feels not good. <laughs> Size large. This literally just, uh, I don't like the way this feels. It, it, I can't even describe just very cheap quality. It's really cute, honestly, the print and cut of it, but this fabric is just a deal breaker for me. Okay, I'm seeing something sparkly. Just me, size small. So the first things I'm noticing are that it is fully lined, which is great. And I do love this sequined overlay like mesh overlay this will be a great new year's kind of piece is that what's happening there i am definitely going to be trying to add in some more holiday pieces new year's pieces for my closet to my closet and adding lots of keywords to them like holiday new year's new year's eve event cocktail um, Christmas, festive, holidays, all the good keywords. Okay, Banana Republic, older tag, and older style dress. It looks like it's, it goes to like calf length. Let me see what the material is on this. Okay, well it's 100% wool and it is, uh, you know, it's a nice, pretty nice brand. I don't know, I will think on this. This is kind of one of those pieces that I don't automatically have an answer in my mind of yes or no, I will list it just because it does have some redeemable qualities. Wool is a great fabric, but it's kind of a dated style and um, you know, Banana Republic is very kind of bread and butter. So I'll think on that. Gap, size medium. 
I love Gap stuff for myself personally. And is this, okay, oh yeah, okay, so this is a jumpsuit. So I will be listing this because jumpsuits sell super well for me. This is a great kind of closet staple in, you know, black color. It's flattering with the elastic waist. Next, Rampage USA. This looks like an older top. This is pretty cute. It has that kind of 90s Y2K style going for it. Um, but I am seeing some runs in the fabric, quite a few runs. So I might send this into Play-Dohs. This would be so cute for like that grunge look with like some high-waisted jeans and Doc Martens. Okay, I remember seeing this too, and I was so confused by this because it looks like a wrap dress, but there's no ties to close it in the back. Like, there's no way to keep this closed. So, I mean, that's just so odd to me. I don't, I really just don't understand how you're supposed to function in this dress. So I guess I will look into this further. You guys know I like this color. It's 100% cotton. Maybe it's like an apron, but there's no way because it goes all the way around like it's supposed to have closures there. So yeah, that is truly a little puzzle piece there. Next we have J. Crew. Again, an older tag from them, size extra small, a closet staple here, striped mini dress and like this substantial feeling cotton material. If this is in excellent condition, I will go ahead and list this for like 25 to 28 ish. I think this is like a pretty classic piece from J. Crew that people um, like and search for. It is from summer of 2013. so. Definitely a little bit older. We have Hollister, size small. This is, it's like almost a piece that I would get at the bins just because it's that fun gingham print and it's really cute, but it's just, you know, it's just really not substantial. But since I do have it, I will list this, probably like $15 because that is cute, that is trendy. Speaking of trendy, we have pink plaid here, rose fan fan. No idea. Probably won't list this. It is kind of cute. That'll probably go to Play-Dohs. This is very heavy and I have no idea what it is. It looks like a band uniform kind of thing. And the tag really just does not help me out at all. So yeah, I will just donate that. I have no idea what it is and really no interest in figuring it out. English Factory. So this, I forget now, but I think this is kind of like a mid-tier boutique kind of brand. I could be wrong on that. I'm not sure. Sheer blouse with some smocking up top. It does have a missing hook for the hook and eye closure and back. So because of that, I will just donate it. I also think it's supposed to have like a little camisole underneath. So missing that as well. INC, not a brand I buy. Little tiered ruffle mini skirt. I will donate that. This looks like, this is like a little tank slip top mini dress kind of thing. It feels like not very good quality. We have a basic tank from Karen Kane. I might keep that, I like that color. Next we have, this feels like genuine leather. Yes, 100% leather from Lord and Taylor size 12. Okay, so this I will list. This is a nice kind of fall winter time closet staple. Love the size and genuine leather, good quality. 
What is this? Um, okay, no tag at the neck. We have this fun ruffle detail at the chest. It looks high-waisted, wide leg, jumpsuit. So honestly, this is super cute so far. <laughs> Let me look into this a little bit. It zips in back and okay. Oh, here's a tag. It says extra small. It looks like an H&M tag. Actually, maybe it doesn't. I'm not sure. It looks like just a kind of random boutique kind of thing, but I might list this. I might try it on. <laughs> we shall see fun vibrant print here glamorous which i think this is sold at like asos maybe um again the quality on this is just not what i like to see so i'll either donate that or take it to play-dohs okay another fun kind of new year's little piece here i need to go ahead and get this listed i love the shimmer metallic and i do like this little side tie this is just from express size six but i think this would definitely sell maybe 20 25 ish i'm seeing a pair of denim yeah okay i was gonna say so this is the brand um dl 1961 but when i saw it here i saw that everything was not there something was missing so that means that they were taken in at the waist they have been altered so i won't list these just because of that reason i probably would have if they hadn't been altered they are the grace high rise straight in 360 comfort and they're a nice wash but it's just too much of a gamble to list stuff that's been like heavily altered like that um, just because the size doesn't represent how they fit anymore. Sunny Lee or Lay. Size small. Again, quality issue here. Going to go ahead and donate that. Looks like a blazer. Banana Republic classic blazer in a size 2. So if this is in excellent shape, I will probably list this. I need to look up comps. It's a striped navy blazer and really nice. Next, loft, extra, extra small petite <laughs> little tank top. So yeah, I will probably just go ahead and donate that. Alrighty, we have some flashy vibes coming in here very silvery metallic this again this just does not really fit the vibe that i'm going for and it does have no tags this looks vintage there we go that's that's our brand there uh i do like the color but i just feel like it's not it's not there's something that's just not sellable about this i don't know how to put it into words um but it yeah i just don't see that doing very well so that might be a play-doh's piece this is kind of cute it's like a mixed chambray i think the whole peplum style is pretty out now though and i don't know this this just looks a little bit dated to me even though i do like the kind of mismatched chambray the tag does not look like anything special so i will not hold my breath for that one more banana republic size six petite this again i do not believe i will list just because i feel like mini skirts are just not what people are searching for um, at least not mini skirts in this kind of style and it also has a stain so that's a no-go this looks like an exact same kind of thing as that non-logo or no brand gray tank top so yeah i'll probably take both of those to play-dohs 
And this looks like that black, um, like tank slip from a few minutes ago. Another blazer. Anne Klein dress for petite. Lots of petites. So again, dated piece. Will not list that. I'm pretty sure the first box was definitely better, but that's okay. Overall, honestly, I'm still happy because I'm probably going to have about two days worth of items that I didn't have to shop for. So that's about eight hours worth of time that I'm saving and that really adds up. I only paid $248 for these boxes. Was it $248? I think it was $268. And I'm definitely going to make that back with the first box and more. So I'm happy. So yeah, mango, little off shoulder kind of mustard ruffle hem top what is this yeah okay so no tag like a Burberry inspired printed dress honestly the quality on this feels pretty nice so I don't know I kind of I feel like someone would totally buy this just based on the print but I would feel weird listing it in my closet just because it's so obviously you know inspired by Burberry maybe I'll take that into Plato's I don't know maybe I'll list it honestly I will you know if I list something like that I would just never mention anything about Burberry I would just say like plaid print dress um fit and flare dress and just kind of market it that way I would not mention Burberry in any kind of way Okay, next I'm feeling a tag, which we always, we always love that. Okay, Halston Heritage. $345 retail price. I have not sold this brand that I can remember. So it's a halter dress. So it's a midi dress. And what is happening with the hem? Okay, it's a rounded bottom hem. Uh, so yeah, I think it's just like a basic halter dress. Does it, it kind of dips down and back a little bit, has a side zip, fully lined. And it's a rayon polyester nylon blend. So obviously I will for sure list this with it being new with tags. I am not super familiar with this brand, but I'm assuming I'll list it on the higher side, maybe 75 to a hundred ish, especially if the retail is 345. So our basic, I love Zara. This is always a, a solid seller for me. This is super cute. Okay. I'm happy with this. We have some like smocking at the chest. It's a high neckline and then this polka dot print. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. So this is, this is the issue. The elastic that covers the button that closes the button is, um, broken. But again, I will talk to my Mimi about that. She's honestly the best. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will try to work on this and see what I can do. I would love to list that. Jennifer Lopez size 2X. What is this print? Is it reptile? I feel like it's like almost reptile. It's like a I'm not sure. I have no idea. But anyways, it's 2X and it's pretty lightweight and cute. I don't really sell Jennifer Lopez. Uh, I think I will just go ahead and donate that just because I don't think the return will be worth the listing time. Everything is about time, guys. You want to um, spend your time wisely. So this is Forever 21, size small, dated, not a great brand. We'll do something with that. Nikki Bicky, 
<laughs> is that how you say this? I'm not sure. Never seen this tag before, but this is really cute. It's not substantial, but I like this a lot. Um, you know, my kind of thing is if it's not substantial, but I know that it will sell very quickly, then I will list it just because if I list something that's like not substantial and it's not cute and trendy, then you're gambling with your time a little bit more because that time that you spent listing it will probably, will have, be more likely to go to waste if it doesn't sell quickly. But something like this where I'm sure that it will sell, it's more worth my time to go ahead and list it because it's a sure profit, if that kind of makes sense. I hope that makes sense, but this is super cute. I might actually try that on. All right, we are winding down here. H&M, size small. You guys know that tag, uh, smocked, little skirt, maybe Play-Dohs, Vanilla Star. I think this was sold at Wet Seal. Off the shoulder, little floral top. We have Forever 21, size large. And this is a bodysuit, so I'll probably list this. Again, this is something that I know will sell for sure. Body Bodysuits are huge and it's velvet, so great for winter time. And it's a size large, so. If that's in good shape, I will go ahead and list that. I feel like I'm kind of contradicting myself with talking about not listing substantial items, but it's, it's kind of hard to explain. It's a very kind of nuanced thing in my mind. Tutu fashion. <laughs> um, this is a no-go for me. Not my style, not my vibe. We have jockey, size medium. Never sold this brand before. Is this, if this is a skort? Okay, yeah, so this is a skort. So I will probably list this just because skorts sell super well for me. It looks like it's in good condition. I'll look it over a little bit better later. Another tag, Dolce Vita. Um, okay, this is the front. So it's a sheer chest, semi-sheer chest with a sweetheart neckline lining, little mini dress. This is pretty cute. Oh, what is that? Um, okay, I have no idea. Some of the threading is just like a different color. I have no idea what's going on there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it looks like some of the threading is like a brown color but it's only in that one spot so that's super weird I will again look into that further later more new attacks top shop um, size 4 is this a dress yes this is a little dress okay that's kind of cool what is happening it's like a draped front with a little snap so, I don't know, I kind of like this. It looks very high fashion. I might list that for 25 to 28-ish. Jones, New York, mock neck, sleeveless, ribbed, sweater top. Honestly, I might list this as well just because this is a great kind of little evening winter top, basic closet staple. Ellen Tracy Petite Extra Small. I will not be listing this. I do like this teal color, but Ellen Tracy is just not um, significant of a brand. And this uh, style just isn't anything spectacular or super trendy or anything. More tags. Rachel Roy. Okay, this looks pretty. Rachel by Rachel Roy. So that is like a lower, like diffusion line, size two. This is definitely pretty though. This might be my New Year's dress. If not, I will list this. 
It has eyelash lace trim, which is a nice little touch. No beading on back. Oh, it does have a keyhole cut out with a little zip. Zips all the way down. So yeah, this is really pretty. Um, I do like that. Last couple pieces here. Um, I feel like I'm already, am I seeing stains? I feel like I saw some stains. I could be wrong though. More cutout tags. It's a true mystery. This is like a stretchy knit dress, like a fit and flare dress with it's rayon nylon and no mention of brand or anything. So I'll look into that. And very last piece, this is a large one to end off on. So a very fuzzy Sherpa, faux Sherpa, like teddy vest. And it looks like it might be reversible. Yeah, has pockets in here and then pockets out here. I saw a tag, what does the tag say? Fab Lux Fashion. So another kind of boutique piece, nothing crazy. And I do see some like matting to the faux teddy. So that I might take to play the closet. And that is absolutely everything in this box that completes our 100 pound mystery unboxing from ThreadUp. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't seen part one, I will link that down below so that you guys can go check that out. That box is definitely better than this one. But again, I'm happy overall. This was, it's always so fun to unbox mystery stuff. I love surprises. So yeah, I had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I should have everything listed around the time these videos go up. I'm not positive, but I'm going to do my best to have everything listed. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you thought about these boxes. Um, for me, it's just about time. I needed some extra time. So saving eight hours worth of shopping is huge for me. And um, yeah, I'm happy with it. So thank you guys. I'll see y'all soon. Bye y'all.